Boketov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Bendenun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Israel National News is reporting a very startling article uh, that's not making it on the front page so much as of yet. Uh, Europe is poised to remove Hamas from its terrorist list. Uh, the European Court of Justice dis will be deciding Wednesday on whitewashing Hamas in what apparently will be a temporary move fueled by technicalities. Uh, Hamas, Hamas in both its military and governmental branches is on the European Union's uh, official list of terrorist organization, but that is likely to change in a decision on Wednesday, at least temporarily, and that's according to Israel National News article that is written about this. After Hamas filed an appeal against its terrorist list standing, the European Court of Justice uh, in Luxembourg is to publish its decision on Wednesday, with many predicting Hamas will be removed on the claims that the group's uh, inclusion in the list was against EU pr procedures and without sufficient evidence. Hamas was added to the terror list in 2003 following a push by Israel and the U.S. to have the radical Islamic terrorist group whose platform pledges to destroy Israel and calls for genocide against the Jewish people, the article says, recognized as such in Europe. But now they're planning on taking them off that list. Uh, interesting. Wonder what, will, what the ramifications will be on that. Also, another news in Israel. There was an elderly man that was uh, beaten, pepper sprayed, and ran over by his own car, uh, and, uh, and, and killed in the process of it. Three Arab attackers did this near, in, near Samaria, and ironically, the police called it a theft. And it's been a great concern among Israelis that the police are covering up some of the terrorist attacks to try to limit the number that are qualified as terrorist attacks. Evident, though, as the uh, police report showed, the man was pepper sprayed, taken out of his car, beaten, uh, but then they took the car and intentionally ran him over and killed him with his own car. So it was not just an, a, an act of theft. They could have taken the car and done nothing else to the man. But being that he was elderly, they decided to run him over and fact that he's Jewish. Also, you know, there was another case not too long ago in Israel with the same situation where an Arab worker cut the line of a fellow worker on a high-rise building, and he fell to his death. Again, another terrorist act that was covered up as just a crime in Israel, trying to limit the number of terror attacks that are going on there. Um, also, Yehuda Glick has filed a formal complaint against the al uh, uh Sheikh, who is, did a public video that went viral on the Internet, uh, and, and that was the al Mosque preacher, uh, who, who stated in his video, um, let me just read here, Sheikh Omar Abu Sarah is shown in the video claiming that the Jews are master of their vile traits and the time of, for your slaughter has come. The time to fight you has come. The time to kill you has come. Now, this is the minister the, uh, for, the, for the Muslim people on the Temple Mount that... Uh, speaks out this type of hatred towards Jews. Of course, Yehuda Glick saying this is one of the reasons why the assassination attempt was made on his own life uh, with the intent to kill him, but he has survived, although he is confined to a wheelchair uh, from his wounds. And it is, it is actually deplorable. It's one of the reasons why we also state and support that the Israeli government should do something to remove the Temple Mount uh, the Alaska Mosque, everything on the, uh, the Dome of the Rock from the Temple Mount build God's third temple where it belongs. It is something that the Israeli military is required to do according to uh, the, the, the Bible itself, the, very God, the, the moral foundation of Israel in itself. Even as today, Prime Minister Netanyahu, along with uh, uh, Defense Minister Yolan, were celebrating Hanukkah. Uh, with the Israeli troops uh, singing together the, from the book of Maccabees where the story of Hanukkah is actually birthed. This is something that is uh, required of God, that there should not be any unholy thing upon his holy mountain. It is something that must be removed. It is something that the government must do because the first general of Israel, Defense Minister Yolanda, take good note to know this as well, and he should know this, I'm sure he does, that the first general of Israel, who was none other than Yahshua Binun, Yahshua ben Nun actually came in under the commandment that God had given Moses 
to remove the enemies of the land there, to take this land because God had given it to the Jewish people. And they settled in this land and they pushed out the occupants. The only ones that did not get pushed out were those that, that sneakily came in and contrived uh, con uh, with a conspiracy in order to save their own necks, made a covenant with Israel. And therefore it became a thorn in Israel's flesh as it is even today. It is still a thorn in the flesh and Israel once again is trying to make peace with its neighbors much as the, uh, it was back uh, 1600 years before the common era when Israel made tried to make peace with the Greeks in order to get uh, this Roman Empire to, to, to side with them which they only turned on them. And we're seeing the same events play out again. Uh, the so-called enlightened Jews of the political spectrum of today, such as Tsipi uh, uh, Levni, who is running for prime minister, being one of just many that are so-called enlightened that are willing to divide the land of Israel, something that will actually backlash on Israel. Nonetheless, we do see in the prophet Daniel that there will be a leader that will step up and break this covenant. Wonder if that is, well, of course, it's broken there in the midst of the week. It seems to be at the same time when the witnesses are killed or either that or when the witnesses first come on the scene. Quite Not quite sure which that may be. But nonetheless, we will get to see more headline news happening in Israel because we don't have to fear. God will bring his word to pass. I'm Stephen Bendenu. You are watching Israeli News Live.